this drawing here, which shows the, the two uh, yantras side by side, which is comp comp uh, particularly compelling to me. And you can see how we can, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these layers off, all of them off. So I'm going to hold the shift, uh, uh, click that layer there, hold the shift key down and click that layer and we can turn all of those layers off. Now I'm going to turn them on one by one and we'll see how they come up. So the, the first is the outline layer, the very outside, and then we'll turn this layer on here, which is on the inside, the, the central, and then the core. So that, that, that is the outline, and that, that is shared with both of the yantras. Now I'm starting to go specifically on the Ganesh yantra, the peripheral outside ring, and the, um, if we have a look, uh, just close a little bit, you can see each one of those has got their color and their redraw order. You're uh, going to have to go and set those up yourself in order to achieve this. I'm just going to turn these on and you can see how we've got the different colors and the different settings, even the internal, in, uh, in, internal on the heart shapes. I've included those, the lotus petals, and we turn them on. And we slowly start uh, turning the different images on, and the star and the Ganesh geometry, and then finally the Bindu in the middle, which is a, a sunlight color right there in the middle. And when you're doing your mantra, which is a recitation, if you uh, go and you're saying your beads, you take a beads like this and you, you say your mantra, Om Gam Ganapate Namaha, and you go through each of these, you give give life to the to the diagram that you've created, and the deity will um, appear before you as uh, as you as you saying the the, the mantra. Uh, then uh, let's go keep on going on to now the Sri Yantra peripheral ring. You click uh, uh, so I'm just going to turn these on, and you can see um, how these uh, how it actually comes alive. Once you've assigned the different colors and you've gone through and, and turned these on, and um, then the Sri Yantra itself, uh, keep on. Uh, here, the, the outside thing, uh, these are uh, each row of triangles here, or each ring of triangles, has got uh, specific uh, significance, and the colors can be assigned to them. You turn them on and off, and the little triangle in the middle. And then finally, the little the geometry on top here. The geometry is quite interesting. If we zoom in here, you'll see that it is very difficult for um, uh, these. Uh, uh, it, it's impossible, mathematically impossible, for all the three corners, all of the intersections to meet. And this here is about the best you can get. So if we turn that geometry on. Um, you see what I've done is I've given the line thickness slightly. Uh, uh, if I select that geometry, let's just go into select by, and it selects that geometry. And if I give the line thickness a zero, and you can see how it doesn't actually interact. Um, that dimension there is really, really small. So if we go from that intersection there to there, you see we're talking within a hundredth of an inch, two hundredths of an inch. So what you can do is you can select by F3, you can select by that geometry and actually give it some kind of thickness. Over here I find 0 0.007 works nicely and it, it loses the little dot in the middle and then um, that's, uh, that's the, the geometry of the Sri Yantra and that's often a technique that people use to get rid of the, that um, inevitable inaccuracy over there, just to make the line slightly thicker. And then finally, the bindu point in the middle, which is the center of focus for your meditation. And um, that is uh, an overview of how you would create these shapes in Turbocad and how you can um, uh, use these to expand your spiritual awareness. Um, I certainly hope you enjoy it. I've enjoyed presenting it and um, I hope you benefit from it as much as I did. Namaste.